and this is just this is a ridiculous story but true when I was 15 years old I have an uncle uh, he's passed now but my uncle Rex and uh, he was into cars and old cars and he he gave me a car he did the whole body he did body work and he did a 57 Ford two-door hardtop did it all up painted it was blue and white it was a beautiful car and he gave it to me as my first car so uh, he brought it over and we put it in the garage and there it was but I had to go another year before I could drive this car so I couldn't take it. So all the time I it was sitting out in that garage, I'd go out and look at it and I'd wash it. And then all of a sudden one day I got the idea, I should chop the top on this car. So I said, I took all the chrome off with a screwdriver and I just bent it and ripped the chrome off around the windshield. And I couldn't get the windshield out, so I broke the windshield out. And I didn't have any tools to speak of, so I took an old hacksaw and I cut the roof off. And I borrowed a torch from a guy and I cut it down and I tried to weld the torch back on. And that went on for, well, the whole winter and part of the summer. And then I was getting to the point where I thought this is going to be really nice. And uh, I pulled it outside and the roof was crooked and the glass wouldn't fit. <laughs> and I just destroyed the car and went to the junkyard. That was, that was my first chop. <laughs> that was the beginning. Yeah, I've chopped probably oh, hundreds of cars since then. I don't, it's, uh, they all turned out better than that one. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, uh, Crown Victoria for a guy named Pat Hurley in town here where I recessed all the chrome. That was my the first car that really got well known because I had lowered the roof on it instead of chopping it I lowered the dash and everything on it and that that really kind of launched me into the magazines and it got a couple of covers and it, it did really well and I met a lot of people from through that car. And yeah it has gotten to the point where now I'm at a point where there are no shapes I can't make. I'm pretty confident in that. I've just made so many different shapes that I can make anything I want to make. So now it's just kind of making it better and, and quicker and easier and just it's finessing it, finessing it. You know, it's just getting better every day. But I, I don't think of them as whole cars. I, I get pieces of cars that I like and panels and things that I do that, that I think, oh wow, I did that, you know? <laughs> I really like that section, you know. That's how I do these cars when I'm out here in the shop too. I just I don't look at them as a whole car because they're pretty long-term projects. And I always it's what I'm doing today is the most important part. Of it. Well, because I have such a wonderful retirement fund here uh, until the day I die. <laughs> and if if you hear one day that Jim Bailey died underneath a car out in his garage, I want a big smile on your face because that's the way I want to go. <laughs>